you have common sense if you notice there's a world around to not if you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do there is only one thing that i know is true about existence you may think that it's common it's not so common sense that we're dealing with oh hello there hi welcome 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 everybody it is june 10th and episode 12 of season 2 coming at you hot how you doing i am jalopy and as always joined by my wonderful co-host miss skylo 22 uh we we have a uh we have a good show tonight i'm excited about some of the topics me too uh, we got some fun tonight's one of the fun shows like every now and then we've got shows that are are uh they're more serious and then this show is very uh it's very this episode is there's a lot of comedy i feel like to talk about here a lot of funny things to talk about uh so uh i don't know i i, I like these shows these episodes that are funny and yeah. uh we see all y'all in the live chat. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. If you're listening to the listen, rewind. If you're listening to us on the podcast, uh, or you're driving down the road, making your commute to work a little bit better, look out. There's a bird. We appreciate you as well. Uh, Sky, how how's your show? Or how's your show? How's your day been? How's your week been? I'm just listen. It's been a day. Okay, I've had it's been a week. I've had nothing but technical issues for a week now, and I'm I'm over it. I'm I'm I've never been more over the technical issues in my entire life. This is a fact. I'm definitely over it. I can sense it radiating from California to New York. I can mm -hmm. sense the the hatred of technology. The heat wave that we're getting in California is just me. It's just him. That's all it is. <laughs> it's just my blood pressure. That's it. That's raising. all it is. <laughs> I don't like tech issues, Sky. I don't. I don't it's, blame for you. For me, don't... it's not even that I'm too dumb to figure it out. It's that I. It's that they. Most of the time, it doesn't make sense. Like why yeah. things do what they do, right? Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, and I'm just gonna say this, and I'm putting this out there. You are probably one of the only people that I've ever met in my whole entire life of dealing with people who have technical issues or any issues at that. Where if there is something out of the ordinary that's about to happen, you can legitimately follow every technical support fucking letter to a T. You can do the script and there will be something in there that just it doesn't compute mm -hmm. you are the person that i remember when i used to work at a tech support call center that i would have to write a ticket for because there was no there was no fix there was just it was just your shit just fucked up dude i don't know what to do. <laughs> And yeah, no, that's every aspect of my life. And I just, it's gotten to the point since I've known you for so long now, it's gotten to the point where I just, I just roll with it because, like, in my head, I'm like, all right, I already know that he's probably tried A, B, C, D, and E. I'm not going to even bother asking. Let's just jump to like the middle mm -hmm. of the girth. And if that shit don't work, then I'm going to have to fucking MacGyver this shit because his shit is just weird. <laughs> well, the people closest to me, we have a saying uh, when it comes to me that we laugh at now because we ha people say this nonstop to me. Uh, I don't even say it anymore. I can't say it anymore. Yeah. Just, well, they don't mean to, but the saying is, huh, that's weird. <laughs> because that's what happens anytime I break down what I've done. When people was like, "Okay, let's go step by step on how to fix what you what your problem is," and we go through every step, and I'm like, "I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that," and then we get to the end, and they're like, "Huh, yeah, that's, that's weird." weird. Every I've never seen single that before in my life. Time. <laughs> every time. I, I legitimately stopped saying it because I'm just like. No, this is not weird anymore. This is just this is just jalopy. This is just normal. Like for you. I had surgery, stomach surgery a couple <laughs> years ago, and I thought the doctor was going to wake me up and be like, "Hey, um, we opened you up, and there was no stomach." 
Um, that's weird. And we're not sure what to do. <laughs> we never done a transplant for a yeah. stomach before. Uh, I just thought that's what was going to happen. That's oh, just I, that's where I'm at in life. It's just it's weird, man. I don't know. Listen, if 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 I die and there is a heaven and God is real and I get to meet him, that's going to be my first question is why? 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 Why did you do this to me? What did, what I, did I ever do to anybody? <laughs> nothing, okay? I've done nothing to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why must I suffer? <laughs> it's been rough. It's been rough. But um we're gonna put it out there. I've been trying a new thing this year where even when things are going really, really, really bad, I may get a little upset for a bit, but I'm trying to just shake it off and put out the good vibes and say things are gonna work out. Things are gonna go well. Mm -hmm. Things are gonna do what they need to do. Because mm -hmm. I can't keep living like this. <laughs> no, you have to just project the positivity no matter how bad and shitty things get. Just yeah. You have to just keep going. Because otherwise, it's just you're just going to be miserable. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. And what's life if it's nothing but misery? Mm -hmm. It's just not fun. It's so. pretty, uh, pretty, been pretty brutal week, but we're doing okay. We finally made it to the end of the week, guys. We made it to... Not so common sense. Listen, if you make it to not so common sense, you survived the week. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. We're proud Yay! of you. Good job. Thank you for <laughs> being here. Uh, what has anything has has anything been going on with you this week? Um, not really. Um, okay. I pretty much. You've just... been helping me all week, really, with technical. Yeah, stuff. pretty much. Um. Honestly, today was probably one of my most trying days of all days. Um, um, a lot of you guys don't know this, but I am going to be getting surgery soon. Um, this surgery is a full-on hysterectomy. Yes, I am young. I'm 34 years old. I am so sick and tired of going to these appointments and the nurse is coming up to me and saying, what are you getting done, dear? And me saying, a full hysterectomy. Oh, my goodness. You're so young. Oh, such a shame. Yeah. Bitch, I'm not asking for your fucking sympathy. Like, there's a reason why I'm doing this. Like, it's in. Right. You don't need to. You don't need to make comment on right. what it is. Like, there's a medical all reason day. that this is like, happening, and that's all you need to know. I'm like, a full grown adult. I can make this decision. Like, Listen, if I can make the, if I can make the decision to have a child to bring a life into this world. I I have the 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 decision making skills to decide if I want to hysterectomy. Like that's that's how you should look at life, right? Like yep. you're allowed to bring a child into this world, but you're not allowed to say, I I need this surgery done. Yeah. For, for my health. For my own fucking health. And and it was just like it was it would be fine if it was just like one person who mm. said it. I'd be like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it was just like one after eight because I had to do the pre-op stuff, um, the mm -hmm. pre-surgical testing today. So I had to meet, I had to get my blood work. I had to get like my EKGs done. I had to get x-rays done. I had to get like a whole bunch of shit done. And each time I went to a new department, they were like, all right, give us your information. And then they were like, and what is this for? And then I would say it. And it was always a fucking girl. And she would just be like, oh, my God, heaven theory. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You look at you. You're so young. I can't believe you're dealing with. I'm like, I don't want this from you. Like you're making it worse. One woman was just like, "Oh my gosh, are you sure this is a good decision?" For I was like, "Bitch, please don't. Why are you making me feel bad? Why right. are you guys trying to make me feel bad for decision like that I need to make? I've been in pain for like over a decade, bitches. Like y'all need to stop." Mm -hmm. Just like if somebody comes to the hospital and says that they're getting something done, like, don't give them that sympathy bullshit of right. like, oh, you poor thing. I'm not made of glass, first off. I don't need that sympathy from you. Well, I, I just need you to do your job. I walked into a doctor's office and was like, hey, I'm getting my wiener and balls chopped off. 
You're not going to oh, question me on it. Thing. No, you you're not. You're oh, not you going to question me on that. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, that's uh, uh, good for you. Making making the decision to, to change your life. How is this any different? You know what I mean? How I is this know. any different? It's like people are terrified that people are going to not want children for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It was just... They, they, that was another question that they kept asking me. They were just like, oh, do you have a kid? Or do you want kids? And I'm just like, I have one kid. I'm fine. I'm good. So you don't want any more? No, he I'm is fine. too, too many. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's an animal. He just came running in here right, right when you asked me, how was your week? And I was just oh, like, boy. I can't answer two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only one you cloud. You got padlock on that door or something. I, I don't, don't have a door going. in my room. Oh my goodness! Anymore. You need a, just to brick yourself in. I, think. <laughs> I just need to shut myself from the world. <laughs> and then I don't know what it is about. Like I've been trying to find a work from home job. I have said this before on the podcast. Mm -hmm. I have literally been struggling, but I'm in New York and everybody says to me, Oh, it's so easy to find a work from home job. Everybody's doing it nowadays. That's all the rave. And you could go anywhere. You could do anything. But you can't you know what you can't do? You can't do that shit in New York. Because mm -hmm. for whatever reason, New that York is weird. It's like none of these companies are available to do in New York. Yeah, they just they don't want it. They just don't yeah, want it. They don't want to do I don't get it. And I'm just like, and they're like, oh, shit, that sucks. Maybe you should move. I can't move. I don't have a job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need the job to make the money to make the move. Mm -hmm. I can't can't do the one without the other. And I'm not pulling money from my kid's savings account. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You don't want to ruin his future? Hmm. No, no. Well, I'd rather ruin my life. I'm not ruining his. <laughs> well, she. I'm a good cloud mom. Hmm? <laughs> Well, hopefully it all works out. We're mm -hmm. putting that in the universe, uh, and it's uh, it's gonna work out. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be positive. And I I know the solution for your for for both of us financially is just for all of these room readers out here listening to us to really blow this channel up, blow this podcast up. Yeah, send us out to the world, y'all. Share us out. Get us out there. We can do more podcast stuff. We can do more streams. We can do more content for y'all. We mm -hmm. can make a living doing this podcast for you guys. And it would be even better if that's believable. <laughs> um, but should we start the show? We got a good one. We got a good one lined up. Uh, this first one, I didn't get to watch the videos. But... Uh, Oh, you didn't? That's I didn't so get good. to, no, because I, once again, we've had technical issues. <laughs> so. Oh, we almost canceled the show right after we I almost tweeted had, out. Yeah. We <laughs> tweeted out that we were going live, or that we were live, or going live, and uh, I almost had to cancel because the programs weren't working properly. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we're just trying to survive at this point, I think. <laughs> We're just trying to make it to the end, it's which just, it's just a thing. Yeah, but uh, this is pretty cool happening. I guess our oceans are getting cleaned up by this cool yeah. new little system we got here. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch. That's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> it's exactly okay. what it sounds. What like. is it's, that? It's like this. This big giant cover of like a what are those like a net that they like throw into the water kind of like how they use for like gathering up fishes and stuff like what but they catch like, mermaids with yes exactly but this okay. one has like little boobies like little tiny floaties around it i think so you said little like... boobies i was like wait what <laughs> it's got boobies no it's like 1.6 million square kilometers is like how many how much of the area it covers mm -hmm. and then it, it like floats on the top and it gathers up all of like the plastics and the stuff that's just been uh, pretty much on the surface like as deep as it probably tries to go and it like grabs everything and pulls it in and watching these videos has been extremely status it is crazy how much shit is in our fucking ocean y'all people y'all need to stop like y'all need to stop this is ridiculous 
Like, there are fishes and turtles getting caught up in this shit. Dolphins. You guys are killing Flipper. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so upset. Uh, I'm crazy. I'm skimming through the video right now, and it's pretty wild looking. They collected, uh, one of their vessels collected 30,589 pounds. Pounds of plastic. Now, That's I don't know insane. if you guys realize this. Plastic is very light. Yeah. You ever pick up a plastic cup, a plastic jug when it's empty? Mm -hmm. It's light. Mm -hmm. So for it to be 30,000 pounds... That's a lot. Yeah. That's heavy shit. Uh, like, and and remember lot. that, guys, when we come to one of our uh, later topics in the show that uh, uh, is really interesting that, that this is happening in, in the world today because one of our topics touches on this, and it's kind of scary uh, what mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about a little later. But, uh, yeah, these videos are kind of cool to watch. Yeah, they're uh, pretty dope with how they do it. They have like two. Like, I'm wondering how they don't it. catch up all the fish in those um, nets. I think there's a there's there's a couple of different ways. Um, I remember seeing something a long time ago when they first like started doing this. Mm -hmm. Um, that they had first off, they had like a sorting system that like anything that was live, they would put back into the water and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like this little conveyor belt that they like dump everything in. Mm -hmm. uh, first off. They try to do their best to obviously help the animals that are in there. Mm -hmm. um, another one is there were boats that have these frequencies that they, they emit that actually scare the fish away because they feel the sonic mm. waves hit them and then they swim away because they feel That's it's smart. That's smart. Yeah. So, like, it causes just, like, a, a temporary, like, like, a shake. It's almost like a vibration, mm -hmm. um, like a vibrating collar. Not a shock collar, but a vibrating collar for a dog. So it's kind of similar, but it warns them, and then they kind of, like, swim away. And then the other thing is that it, this is touching more on the surface than it is deeper. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the fish don't go up to the surface when they see, like, the waves moving and, like, boats around and stuff like that. Because, obviously, they know danger. <laughs> don't touch the butt. Um, <laughs> and that's pretty much what I remember seeing from like back in the day. Yeah. But yeah, no, this is nuts. This this is nuts. That is wild. Yeah, and I know a lot of these people like places that are getting these things, they're actually going to be trying to reuse the plastic. So they're gonna melt down the plastic and then reuse them all over again with bottles of water that we get from the supermarkets, you know, things like that. Like it's recycle and reuse. It's just nuts to me that it's just it's nuts to me that there's just that much waste mm -hmm. in our oceans. Like, I can understand that people don't know what's in the oceans, but that's the water that we have in our world. Like, this is how nature works. The water goes up into the clouds, it gets filtered, and then it rains, and then it goes into the dirt and the ground, and then it reaches the rivers, and then Poland Spring comes with their giant truck, and then we drink the water. So, people, <laughs> stop doing that because you're also helping in the consumption of plastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And it's scary the things that happen when our bodies consume things that they're not supposed to. Another topic you'll learn about here in a little bit. <laughs> that is wild to me. Um, mm -hmm. What else? Oh, this one. Sky. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. We all love I, we all love Wendy's, right? We do. And you know what's funny is when I saw this and read through it and realized what was happening, I was like... Lop is gonna fucking flip his shit. We He's all gonna okay. Love let this. me let me let me restate that. Re rephrase that. We all love Wendy's Frosties, right? Like everybody <laughs> loves the Wendy's Frosties. Well, exclusive news for you guys coming hot off the presses right here at Not So Common Sense. Uh, Wendy's is finally selling a new flavored Frosty. What flavor is it, you ask? Strawberry. Strawberry. A new strawberry frosty. I'm excited. I new, the first new flavor in nearly three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. And it's like the first one that doesn't involve chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you would think they're just like, oh, swirl flavor, chocolate vanilla, yay! Yeah. No. Stop it. <laughs> I listen. Strawberry is like my favorite of everything, right? Of all the flavors. Mm -hmm. So to get this, I, I, just I'm very excited. I don't think yeah. I even have a Wendy's in the vicinity of me, but I will drive to one soon just to try this. Because I love their Frosties. I just can't even, like, I can't even fathom. Have you ever, like, heard of a food or something and just you can't even, like, process how it would, like, work or taste or feel, like, in your mouth and, how like, how good it You can't, like, you just hear these, like, ingredients and you think, how would this work? That's how I feel with this. Because, like, the Frosties are, they're just, like, a whole different thing. I don't even know what they're made of. Magic, I think. <laughs> they really are. Like, it's not They're not like, cream, yeah, they're not like any not... ice cream you've ever had. So, to have it in strawberry is. Is dope. Mm -hmm. Vanilla, I mean, the vanilla Frosty was added in the menus, like, back in 2006. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even that long ago. It used to only be chocolate Frosties that we used to get. Mm -hmm. Some some people aren't even aware of that. My kid probably hasn't back even known that. Back in our day, we only had chocolate Frosties. <laughs> uh, I do remember that they did have, like, a birthday cake one back in the day. But mm -hmm. I think they just, like, added, like, sprinkles or some shit into, like, the vanilla Frosty. <laughs> like, I don't remember. It was, like, a, a sweet vanilla. And it was really good, but it was just, like, a limited time. Um, people in Canada have actually been trying the Strawberry Frosty. They were the first, I think, to get the product testing. A few cities in the U.S. did have it. I want to know from people who have tried it if just let me know how beautiful it is. And also, are you dipping your fries into that as well? I don't know that I, I would dip know. it into strawberry. I don't know that that would be the right See, combo. I didn't me. know that I would have dipped it into chocolate. To True, begin with. that's that's you know fair. what I mean. Like, who would have thought? Like chocolate and frosty. Like you don't do that. Like, but it's fucking delicious. Mm -hmm. So I'm very curious to how that that strawberry because I've had. Well, you know we're gonna have to try it. Oh my! Of course, Mike just went nutty. Ooh, that scared me. I think cat. the devil just came into the stream, guys. That's, that's what that was. Um, uh, an interesting fact about it is not only you said it's the first one in three years, it's the second one in 16 years. Yes. Yeah, so 16 so in the past 16 years, they've only given us one flavor until now, like one new flavor yeah. until now. So this is a big deal, guys. You guys might be like, oh, it's a Frosty. Who cares? This is a big deal. No, this is a big deal for, for Wendy's. <laughs> for Frosty for lovers and strawberry yeah. lovers alike. And right around the summer, I'm trying to figure out when they're starting, when they're doing it. But I think it's going to be sometime this year. If not this year, definitely the beginning of next. That if they're start, they're going to really start pushing the flavor out and what's really cool about this because like i know that there's some people who don't like strawberry ice cream because it has like chunks of like fruit inside of it you gotta remember this is the frosty there is no chunks it's, of yeah fruit it's in just it. pure it's just pure whatever ice magic cream. it's pure magic it's unicorn poop <laughs> that's all it is <laughs> yep unicorn poop <laughs> So what happened to the birthday cake frosty that they introduced for their 50th birthday? Was it just a, a limited time thing? Yeah, it was just a limited time thing. I don't think that they anticipated it selling like often. Probably more of like, it's our birthday, everybody's happy, and let's just go get it. And then like, all right, I want my chocolate one again so I can dip my fries into it. Another fun <laughs> fact, uh, Wendy's is also returning for the third summer in a row. Uh, their summer strawberry chicken salad, which sounds oh, weird. Yes. Um, no, no, that is delicious. But it's I a blend of salad. sliced strawberries, real mm. chicken, uh, lettuce, spring mix, and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> not everything needs bacon. Jeez, listen, listen, not listen. everything. Not listen. everything needs bacon. Listen. So you're getting a bacon salad, guys. That's what it's going to taste like. No, you're not. You're Anything not you add bacon, bacon to now tastes like bacon. No, Whatever it is, it's going to taste like bacon. True. Listen, this is not true. Okay. Mm. First off, I've your mic is, is did it again. It's been a little 
walk you there. I don't, I don't know. It almost what to sounds do. like you're too close to it or something, maybe. I don't maybe know. Can I get back away? No. Help? No, no. No. It's, no, it's just back. every now and then it just does a weird, like, high pitched squeal. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's my kid in the background. <laughs> Somewhere far, far away. Going back to the summer salad, though, first off, it is absolutely delicious. It really is delicious. Secondly, you can ask for it without the bacon. You well, don't yeah, have to I, have bacon. I would have to. Um, I have, anytime I go anywhere to order something, I have to ask it without bacon. Mm-hmm. I could go to a hotel breakfast bar and get Fruit Loops and say, hold the bacon, because there's <laughs> probably going to be bacon on it. They put bacon on everything. And lastly... They used to have this salad without bacon, but with almonds instead, sliced almonds. Mm. And oh my God. I love almonds. So if they still have the almonds, because they used to have, I think, like a mandarin chicken salad, that was just like fucking phenomenal. Wendy's, I have to give it to them, to be honest, because they are one of the very, very few fast food chains that actually has legit salads that are good and Mm -hmm. filling and fresh. I can't go to McDonald's <clears throat> and get like a a good meal that's healthy. Yeah. You could get their salads, but their salads are fucking trash. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Your their salads are trash. Burger King I don't even touch. Anywhere else I go, it's not really an option. I don't talk about Chick-fil-A. Nobody talks about Chick-fil-A in this house. But Wendy's, their salads, I will if I had a choice between a salad and one of their burgers, I'm going for their salad. Yeah. A thousand percent. I, I their like their burgers, salads. though. Their burgers yeah. are pretty good. No, I love their burgers, but their salads are, like, top tier. They're so good. I don't know what the fuck they do. Like, <laughs> they're just so good. Oh, that's it, though. All right. Uh, what else is happening in the world, Sky? This one makes me nervous when I read it because my kid is six, and he's 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 a boy. A stupid little boy. <laughs> but nope. puberty starts earlier than it used to, and nobody knows why that this is happening. That some girls are starting to develop breasts as early as ages six or seven. My kid is six. And it's crazy. So they're trying to study the roles of like obesity, chemicals, and stress when women are pregnant and see if that's what's going on. Like they don't. They can't find it's got to be something in the factor. foods, right? I, I'm assuming so. Maybe medications that people have been taking. Oh, yeah. It could be millions and hundreds of thousands of things. Like, it could literally be anything and everything. But what's what's crazy, and, like, I, I feel for these, these, these young girls because they're getting their periods at, like, six and seven years old. That's we were nuts. Awkward. Yeah, we, it was an awkward time when we were, like, 11 12 13 14 getting them mm-hmm. imagine being a first grader my kid is six in first grade imagine being a first grader and then just going to the bathroom and all of a sudden looking down and being like oh my god i'm bleeding because they don't teach you about that right until you're like in you're the a little third, older fourth, fifth grade. Well, because like, your mind isn't even like to that point you, where exactly, it's even going to understand it then you have the then you have the worry about pregnancies at an earlier earlier age because let's face it kids now have access to everything with their right. phones tablets and, and everything if they're they hitting puberty earlier on. then their hormones are going wild earlier mm-hmm. like that's scary stuff man that's just we need <laughs> need to stop having children <laughs> everybody make a pact right now no more kids just <laughs> No, no more. more. We're no done. More. We've we've reached the end of human civilization. This way we can stop looking for other planets to move to. We can put our resources elsewhere. We can, you know, we can just all just uh put our, put our money towards towards saving the planet that we're on now and making it the best planet until our species just dies off. <laughs> <laughs> just goes away yeah seriously honestly look at me i'm do- I'm taking the right you know turns by getting listen this is coming from a guy who's had two vasectomies so <laughs> i i'm already committed folks i'm already on board we, we drank the kool-aid we drank the kool-aid i'll and... be there in about a week <laughs> <laughs> i'll be joining the club uh i'm just saying listen if you've had a kid up to now that's fine but starting now 
Just no more. <laughs> June 10th, 2022, no more kids. No more pregnancies. That's it. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. My sister delivers babies, and that put her out of a job. So. <laughs> well, I mean, she's a nurse. I feel like she can get another job true, in, true. in the field. Just taking care of babies that are already born or something. I don't know. Yeah. Do the I opposite. Don't know. That's true. It would put a lot of people out of jobs. But listen, other jobs would open up. We wouldn't need those schools, so there would be time to do other things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know. This is just the, the hill that I'm going to die on, and and that's it. And I'm going to die on it without children. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, you're going to the doc. You've been going to doctors recently, mm-hmm. and you are getting ready to have your surgery. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm being asked by Sierra in our live chat what jobs would open up. I, I wasn't prepared for a follow up question, so <laughs> I'm moving on. Um, <laughs> hey, please, defense. I, I'm, unsure. I'm unsure. I'm <laughs> unsure. To be determined. We'll have they're to find all, out when we stop having children. They're all going to work for a um a corporation called Umbrella, and yeah. um. There's going to be cyborgs involved and stuff. So. Right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you've been going to the doctors, getting ready for your surgery and stuff. And that's uh, kind of what our next segment is about, uh, which may sound weird, but our next segment is Awkward Asylum. And what is awkward, and I think people don't even think about it, are doctor visits. They are so awkward sometimes. I get it. I get it. When I first started going to the doctor when I was young, it was awkward when they would ask you questions like, how's your stool been? Is it is it firm? Is it loose? Or they start asking, are you sexually active? How many right. partners have you had? Do you do oral? Like, they start really they, they, prying. Yeah, they pry. They absolutely they pry. pry. They have to. It's their job. They're not going to judge you. I mean, they might in their head. I, okay, let's be honest. They're <laughs> secretly judging every patient that they have. Right? In one way or another, they're judging. Until yeah. they've done it for so long that they just don't care anymore at all. You know what I mean? They're just like, oh, you've got seven feet? All right. Cool. I just don't care. <laughs> I, there was this doctor that I think I followed on TikTok, and I remember him saying something about um, because somebody had said that somebody asked him a question and was just like, you know how like how do you go through your day? Because like sometimes like I feel like you get some of the most crazy things that happen. Like how do you do things with a straight face, like without even like blinking? And he's just like, I have seen. Mm-hmm. everything he's like i've seen people putting things in places where they shouldn't be right and they come in with their explanations and you just sit there and think about it and you're like huh, okay yeah that's not true but okay right we like we have a job to do we have mm-hmm. we, we practice medicine we're doing the things that we need to do we want to help people we understand that sometimes crazy things happen <laughs> Shit hits the fan but like at the end of the day they have one focus in mind to get the job done now will you be a topic on their next dissertation yeah Most probably likely. will Most you end likely. up on an episode of house yeah 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 but you know. um <laughs> so so if if we're aware that doctors are used to this right this kind of stuff doesn't phase them why are doctor visits so awkward because we're not comfortable with it yet mm, people are us. not exactly and People are ashamed of the things that they do in mm-hmm. closed doors. That's mm-hmm. why they don't talk about it openly. You know me, me and you, we probably are one of the very few people in the world who have no shame. We don't care. Right. Um, it's it's people, and this, this is the one thing that I stress a lot for a lot of different topics. If you are going to do something in your life, own what you do. If mm-hmm. you can't sit there and own what you do in your life, don't do it. Mm-hmm. If you feel like it's, it's going to be shameful, if you can't talk about it with people, if you can't do those steps, that means that you are not mature enough to handle that, and you should probably not be doing it. Doesn't matter what it is. Mm-hmm. It could be smoking. It could be doing drugs. It could be having sex. 
It could be going to an orgy. It could be being a nudist. It could be rubbing fucking chocolate on your nipples. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever it is that you do, just own. Don't be one of those people who just go about life and just like, ah, I would never do that. No, oh my gosh, no, I would never. But then you have like, you know, John, Rick, and Tony like shoving a dick up your ass like all at the same time. Like, just own it. Just own it. Uh, you could like anime. It's fine. <laughs> God wholesome. We can. I'm not judging you for it. Other people might. I'm not going to. It's fine. You, you're a fan? Just, just own it. Right? I don't know what anime has to do with you, any physicalities, but it's okay. You could... Well, there's a, there's a, there's a mental aspect. <laughs> That's going to be one of the questions now from like, mental health forms. Do you do like anime? Do you like anime? Yes. Check. Ah, uh, shit. All right, we're going to need to put All right, on the bring in the experts, guys. <laughs> gonna need... I kidding. love anime, uh, Listen, too, so many people love anime. <laughs> and you know what? If I'd ever give it a chance, I'd probably love it, too. But I don't Are have time. Would. I'm too busy trying to get my computer to work. So I don't have time to enjoy anime. Honestly, there's a few shows that I think you should watch because you would absolutely love them. Mm. And one of these days... They're on my list. We're going to watch them. <laughs> You're going to love oof. them. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. <laughs> That's in the future, though. That's going to be in, like... So what do we do to three. make doctor visits less awkward? Own your shit. Just own, own your it. shit. That's all Just we can do. It. Own it. You guys got to realize doctors are in medicine for a reason. They're doing what they're doing. For well, here's the thing. Nobody else is going to help you. You you can't go to cousin Vicky and say, "Listen, I got an ear of corn stuck in my anus, and I I don't know what to do about it." You just exactly. can't. And uh, I I just think you have to see see it like Sky said. This is what they do. They're professionals about it. They're going to help you move on. They're gonna they're gonna learn learn about your medical issues at one point in time or another whether you go in voluntarily or you end up in the er uh, definitely do not and i repeat do not go to google about it uh, <laughs> because you will get responses that <laughs> that are incorrect you will think you're dying Honestly, I kind of feel like if you Google things, like you're going to get stuff that's also just people putting their two cents and people aren't doctors and people will make you feel like you're being judged and will make you feel like you should be ashamed of what you're doing. And I'm here to tell you, don't ever be ashamed of who you are and what you do in your life. Don't. just. I mean, you. unless you're like harming other people or doing harm, yeah, causing harm do to other people. Don't cause don't, harm don't to other that. people. Like, but, do you, but do it to you. Just do you. Yeah. <laughs> like, just don't hurt anybody else. Don't hurt yourself either. Like, know your limits. Right, yeah. You know, just. But it doesn't safe, have to be, be awkward. Smart, Listen, be when educated. you go into the when you go into the waiting room at a doctor's office, and you're sitting there, and pretending to look at the magazine or your phone that they have, you know, the magazines they have or your phone, and you're actually just looking around at the people in the other seats. Um, wondering if they're wondering what's wrong with you. They're doing the same thing as you. You're all in the same. You're all in the same boat. Uh, this is where this this up uh, this this podcast comes in handy uh, with learning to read a room, and that's part of that's a room that you really need to read. I think. Yeah. Don't don't be that guy that goes in and and is just loud, obnoxious, talking on your phone in there. That is awkward. Don't make that stuff happen. You know? Also, don't be the person that lies about your shit to the doctor just because somebody's in the room. You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah. I, I mean, to... I, I do have to say, though, I wish they'd stop doing that shit. What? Ask, what are you here for? What if it is to get a... <laughs> what if it is to get the... A rock from the Pacific Ocean pulled out of your ear? <laughs> like... You know? Like, what... Well, I'm more or less talking like, okay, so... Um, what if you have anal leakage and you don't want the entire lobby to know? You see, I wouldn't care. Because like, then, you, then they're like, okay, have a seat around all these people that you just... 
And then there, nobody's going to sit after in that chair after you. No. We're like, can I just sit in the bathroom and then you guys right. just knock on the door until, like, I'm ready to be seen? No, but I'm talking about, like, I used to go to the doctor's office with my mother, like, all the time. And whenever the doctor started asking questions, like, are you sexually active? Are you doing, mm-hmm. like, my mom was just, like, kind of glancing at me. And she was like, no. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you fucking mm. lying shit. I'm not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I invented sex practically. I mean, <laughs> right. stop did. it. Just stop. It's true. I did. It's facts. Thousand uh, percent facts. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't have to be awkward. Uh, but it is, guys. And we get it. We know it's awkward. And all I can tell you is just try to realize everybody's in the same boat when they go in there. Yeah. Uh, and everybody's just trying to get in and get out without any issues. Because nobody likes going to the doctor, right? Nobody. Mm-hmm. There's nothing fun about going to a doctor. Because the only thing that's going to happen, the only thing that could change for you when you go in and come out is they're going to tell you this something's wrong with you <laughs> that you were unaware of before. So, the, the, and I get it. It's fine. But, uh, yeah, you don't, have to, you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, but... Some things you have to worry about, or I have to worry about, and Sky has to worry about. Answering the questions in our next segment. <laughs> and this is a fun one. This one, uh, this one tests our moral. This one tests our moral uh, stances on things, which Sky and I have no morals, so it's fine. <laughs> I have some scruples. Um, but isn't scruples like a hair product? <laughs> no means the same thing as like morals pretty much i think it was a hair product as well <laughs> probably maybe i don't know uh, but it's this is the segment more. called what would you do where we uh you know we end every show with a like kind of a deeper hypothetical question but these are just some hypothetical situations uh that we like to to see how we would react to and um Who's going first? I have not seen any of these yet. So who's who's uh, who's asking first, guy? Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask first. All right. <clears throat> All right. You're at a party at a friend's house, and you have to go to the bathroom. You clog the toilet. No one will know it's you. Do you say nothing to your friend and hope that the next person who uses it gets blamed? No, I take a picture of it and I announce it to the crowd. <laughs> hey, y'all come and look at this shit. Literally. <laughs> look what I did. Look what I did. Um, um Yeah, no, that's I mean, I talk about about that kind of stuff because like here's the thing. I that's one thing that I learned a long time ago. Everybody poops. It's in a book. Mm-hmm. They read it for, to kids. Listen, nobody cares. Have you ever cared about anybody else pooping at a party? Ever in your entire life? When somebody's <laughs> gone into a bathroom, have you ever been like, oh, Sharon's in the bathroom. I bet she's pooping in there. Who? Nobody you know, cares. You know what's funny? It's like, okay, so I get that. Like, I'm the same way as you. Like, I just, I don't care. Like, I can sit here and talk about poop. about It doesn't bother me. Like, I could diagnose poop if I wanted to. <laughs> like it doesn't bother me like one bit. But like I don't know what it is, but every time I was with a guy, like they would always be ashamed of like the pooping like thing. They would just be like, "Oh, girls don't poop." I had one dude that was just like adamant that girls just didn't shit, and I'm just like, I don't understand what it is about like guys, women, and poop in like the same vicinity. Like why guys just start getting like freaked out about it, like. Even when they have to go poop, they're just like, oh my god, I have to Well, like, because it's ingrained in us. It's ingrained in us as little kids as we grow up. That the girls are these just feminine, clean, fresh princesses. And we're not. And you're not. You're worse than we're men not. ever thought about being in a bathroom. We are fucking freaks. Way worse than men ever thought about being in a bathroom. <laughs> the shit that I've seen in the women's bathrooms. Women's bathrooms, I used to have to clean them. They're horrible. They're bad. They're, they're terrible. Bad. Men's bathrooms, <laughs> fine. They may stink a little, but they're fine. <laughs> Women's bathrooms, there's shit graffiti on the walls. There's tampons stuck to the ceiling. There's used... Glory holes. It's, it's crazy, man. 
Women's bathrooms are nuts. Why anybody would ever want to use one of those places is beyond me. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. But yeah, no, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want somebody taking it. I don't think that they're getting the blame in this situation. I think they're getting the credit. <laughs> I want yeah, the credit. No. I wouldn't tell, I wouldn't announce it to the party, but I would totally tell my friend, uh, like, yo, bro, I just, I destroyed totally your toilet. I'm going to need you to do something about it. <laughs> Where's your plunger? Do you have a roto rooter kind of thing? Like, roto, roto, roto. All right, I feel like I know the answer to this one, Sky, but would you get <laughs> up and do the chicken dance at a wedding, even if it makes you look ridiculous? I have done it, and I will do it again, and hey, I that's will what I continue figured. doing it. The I chicken just... dance is great. Yeah. I love it. I love it. How, how's that go again? <laughs> nope, I'm only doing it once. If you wow. miss it, too bad. Um, <laughs> Clip it, let's move on. Yeah, I, uh, I, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't see that that ever. I, I feel like it, where else are you going to do the chicken dance? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want me to do the chicken dance at the DMV? All right, I might have some questions, but at a wedding, that no. That might be a little weird. That might get a little, a little weird for us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I think I would, I would do it, and I wouldn't even, yeah. I've actually, I've done it at my kids' uh, graduation last year. We were talking and we were just standing there, and then. He said something about a chicken, and I was just like, oh, you should do the chicken dance. And then I just started doing it. He was like, Mom, stop it. <laughs> I was embarrassing him, and I didn't care. Yep. I, don't, I was like, I was just having fun. <laughs> He'll look back at that time and laugh. Or need therapy. One of the two. <laughs> okay, what's next? You are a New York City cabbie. A woman with a suitcase hails your taxi. It could mean another trip out to the airport, which you don't want to make. Do you pretend not to see her? Um, as somebody who used to work for Uber when it first started, I drove for Uber for a little while when it first started. Uh... There were many times that I didn't accept rides because I knew that that I, it was going to probably take me to a place that I didn't want to drive all the way to again, that I maybe just came from and I was just trying to end my shift. You know, I didn't want to go that far. Uh, so I definitely didn't accept rides. In this situation, seeing somebody... I guess it depends. Are there a bunch of other taxis around? Where will she get a ride? It's New York City. Pretty easily. There's always. So I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. If, if if there's a bunch of them around, probably. I don't know that I'd act <laughs> like I didn't see her. I'd just like do a shoulder shrug as I go by and like point at my wrist, like no time. So you know, <laughs> no I'd, time. I I I don't think I'd <laughs> pretend that I don't see her, but. Yeah, like I, I think I definitely would just be like, sorry. But she could report you. Here's the thing: she could report she doesn't you. Know, she doesn't know if you're on duty or not. Yes. Okay. What if I don't you know just if made you... your final trip and you're on your way home? I don't home? know if you're familiar with New York City taxis and how they work. So basically, there's a little light above the taxi that mm -hmm. if you're on duty, it's it's and you're open, it's mm -hmm. lit up. If you're closed, closed, and you're not on duty, it's off. Mm. So you know which taxes to hail and which not. There's also a number mm. associated to the light so that if you do miss, you do skip somebody, they could call and get your license removed. Well, in that case, you... if I'm still on the clock, I'd have to pick her up. I would do it because I wouldn't want to get reported. That's fair. That's fair. I still wouldn't. Fire me. I'm going to fly fuck. That's true. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna sit in traffic going to the fucking airport outside of the city because your ass wants to go go take the fucking subway i don't know take somebody else i'm not doing my shift is about to be done that if there's no traffic it's like a 20 minute drive with traffic it's three hours there and then three hours back i'm not doing it mm -hmm. i'm not doing it i'm not if it was in the middle of the night yeah i probably would but if it was like in the afternoon, evening, even mornings, I'm not doing that. I'm not sitting in traffic. I'm not making any money. Fuck you. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. <laughs> Go to somebody else. She said, report me. I'll get fired. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't like the job anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sky, I got a good one for you here. A psychic recommended by a friend does a reading on you. Okay. She's surprisingly mm-hmm. convinced and advises you not to travel this Friday, but you have a business trip planned for that day. Do you cancel? Yes, a thousand percent. <clears throat> if I'm really convinced by her, if she's really convincing and the shit that she's saying in my head, I'm just like, there's no possible way. First off, I already have that. Okay, I did in- read it wrong. She's surprisingly convincing, not convinced. So she has <laughs> convinced you. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not taking If she tells me not to go, I'm like, all right, but I'm canceling this business trip. We're not going. I'm going to say some shit came up, which is the matter of it life It would all death. just depend, right, on the trip for me. What's the trip? I don't care. I don't care what the trip is. Nothing is worth it. Um, I think I would still go. Because yeah. you know me. I'm not very... You're a skeptic. I'm, I, not that I'm a skeptic. It's just that I just don't... Um, yeah, I don't think skeptic is the right word because I, I'm just one of those people that I know I don't know. Mm. And I know nobody else knows. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the thing. She is surprisingly convincing. That's true. So that's, that's the only thing. But here's, here's the, here's the kicker for me. If I do go and something happens, right? Yeah. And I say I, uh, my plane crashes and I die. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm haunting that psychic. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Poor psychic. She was trying to warn you and tell you, and you, you, I can't see with me. It's just that energy. You put that juju in the fucking universe. You put that negative energy in the universe. You're telling me this shit. Uh, you convinced me already. You know shit that I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not risking it. I'm sorry. Ain't nothing in the world gonna stop me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna stay home. I'm gonna chill with my PJs. I'm either haunting that psychic or I'm going to where she works and I'm going to help her convince everybody that she's real. Yeah. And she knows what she's talking about and just do ghost shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Flip tables over, <laughs> lick people's earlobes and stuff. <laughs> you know? We'll do some ghost shit. It's going to happen. No. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think okay. I still go. Yeah, I I wouldn't. Last one. This one I like this one a lot. I'm curious what your answer is. The young couple in the neighboring apartment building is having wild sex all the time, and they never close their curtains. Do you watch the peep show? Uh, when I'm looking that way, yeah. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> closing my blinds. I'm not closing my curtains because they can't figure out how to close theirs. <laughs> no, y'all are just y'all are just being reckless. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not sitting there with binoculars and being a creep or anything. But I'm gonna be like, oh, look at these people. <laughs> they're <laughs> you know? the thing. They're going at it. Oh, they're you going at just... it again. Good you lord, wouldn't... they never stop. <laughs> you wouldn't sit there and just. Wank off to watching them. No, I'm not. I'm not it's a porn. seventeen it's year old amateur, boy. That is amateur porn. That feels like uh, I don't. What's feels, the difference? What's I the difference? I don't know. I don't know. I don't People know the do. difference. I don't have an answer for you, Sky. I don't <laughs> know the difference. I've never there been no in difference. this situation, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess it would depend on if they knew I could see them or not, and they didn't care. <laughs> You're just if if I knew they did, if I knew they didn't me. care, it'd be a whole different ball game. <laughs> I'd be putting signs in the window. <laughs> Flip her over. Touch her there. Touch no, her to there. the left. To the left. <laughs> To the right, to the right. You know? <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm a thousand percent watching. You don't even I know you're watching. Question. I didn't I'm even watching. have to ask you. I already knew that. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, all right, cool. A free fucking live yeah, show? I guess. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. I guess. Now, also, it's going to depend also, like, how much I can see, like, what they're doing. And are they the attractive? Same. Are they attractive <laughs> to me? Like, what I find attractive? Because like, I watch a lot of porn. Like, and it's just one of those things where I'd be like, are they all right, like, boring? Flip it through. <laughs> yeah, are they boring? Like, oh, they're missionary again. We'll see you later, Sally. Finisher. <laughs> Flawless <laughs> victory. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This will be our last episode ever of Not So Common Sense, folks. I, I don't know what to do. We should move on, though. We should get out of this segment as quickly as possible and never do it again. <laughs> movie of the week! Movie of the week, everybody! This movie of the week, uh, I think everybody has seen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has seen this one? Yeah. Yep, yep. yep, yep. Uh, even me, now. <laughs> <laughs> it came out in 1999. I finally saw it, so we're on track. Um... We're on, we're on, we're on schedule. Uh, but let's see who can name the movie before I even name it out there. If you're listening, it's got Brendan Fraser, it's got Rachel Weisz, John Hanna, Arnold Vosloo. Is that how you say it? Kevin O'Connor. It's got Eric Avari. The, wow, I didn't realize how many big people were in this. Mm-hmm. And the movie came out in 1999. We all know what, what we're talking about here. It's The Mummy. I love The Mummy. Okay, first off, The Mummy reminds me of, like, the more modern day, like, Indiana Jones. Like, when I was watching it. Like, I loved Indiana Jones growing up as a kid. That was one of my, like, favorite movies. Mm -hmm. And then The Mummy came out. And I fell in love with Brendan Fraser. Like, I was obsessed with him from this movie. Like, I thought he was just the bee's knees. I One of the most underrated movie. actors of our time, he in my opinion. He really is. He's such an amazing actor. I love Bedazzled, uh, oh Blast my God. from the Past. He's incredible in Bedazzled. It, that is probably one of my favorite Because he plays so movies. many different characters in that movie, and he, he nails every single one of them. Yep, I, that as I an actor, that. I can promise you that's hard. <laughs> that is hard to do, and to yeah. nail every single character perfectly. He he does it. Uh, but yeah. this is a movie for those who don't know. Uh, at an archaeological dig in the ancient city of Hamanatra, an American serving in the French Foreign Legion accidentally awakens a mummy, who begins to wreak havoc as he searches. For the reincarnation of his long lost love. Alex uh, What's her name? What's her name? Yeah. She uh she's she's pretty she's pretty attractive. In my opinion. Yeah. 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 Um <laughs> played by Rachel Wise. Uh I think, right? Is that who it was? Is that no. what I'm thinking of or is it a different one? She's a different one. Rachel Weiss is... Oh, Brandon Patricia. Va yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Pat Patricia's pretty attractive as well. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I uh, I love the movie. It's a, it's a really good movie. It's got a lot more comedy to it than you would think. And I, there's not a lot I can really say about it other than if you haven't seen it, uh, first of all, why? <laughs> At this point, how have you not watched it? Uh, it's a really good movie. Now they ha they've had sequels come out, right? There's what three now? Uh, Two? I want to say three in total, but there was like one where um. Well, there's Dwayne, the, the mummy. Rock Johnson, there's he, the mummy returns, which also has Brendan Fraser. Fraser. There's the mummy. Uh, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, which came out in 2008. I don't think he was in that one. No, he, maybe he was. He was. He was. 
Okay, so he was in that one. Okay, so basically what it was, it was Scorpion the King mummy. is the one I don't think he was in, right? Yeah, Scorpion King he wasn't in. So it was the Mummy, the Mummy Two, and then Scorpion King came out as like a break off yeah. of it because Dwayne the Rock he was in both of them. Yeah, he played a little you know piece in uh, the second one. Mm -hmm. So he was kind of in all of them, and then I was very like disappointed in the third one because. I think it was a different kid, mm. and I think I I wanted to say that the dude who played the son was like Chris Pratt, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was just somebody who looked like Chris Pratt, and I was just like, and the whole movie, all I kept thinking was like, is this Chris Pratt? That's not Chris <laughs> who is that? I couldn't pay attention to the movie because it was. It's like really interesting me. to watch these older movies and see like big time actors now in like these small roles or like tiny mm -hmm. little where they're just like cameo roles. And it's 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 really cool to see like where people kind of got their start and where they've ended up now. Uh, I don't know. It's crazy. And some of the bigger roles, the bigger stars in some of these older movies now are like the ones doing the small roles in big movies mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, so it's crazy how like thing time times have changed. Times change. That's how it goes. It's just like you get your up and then you get your kind of like your mellow. You know what I think it is? It just gets to that point where they're just like they get so amplified and they're just like they they reach a point where they're just like, all right, I'm good. I'm satisfied with what I got. Like I made billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Like now I can kind of just well, look at Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's retiring. Mm -hmm. Jim Carrey is retiring. He does art on the side too. Yeah, well, because that's what he wants to do now. He wants to just. Mm -hmm. He said he loves relaxing and doing his art. He's really incredible with it. Too. Oh, I like, could imagine. Have you seen? Some I of haven't, but I could imagine that he's really good I, I at it. I follow him on Twitter, and I've seen some of his posts on some of these things, and it's it's breathtaking. Now like, he did say if if a script come across his desk that like really touched him and like really thought it was something that he would like to get out to the world. Uh, he would do. He would. He would. He might do it. But basically, yeah. he's retired now. Yeah. Uh, which is sad because, I mean, again, one of the greatest actors of all time. Just no, nowhere near. I don't. I don't know of anybody even remotely close to the same level. Yeah. Uh, which is is wild. But uh, yeah, yeah, the Mummy guys. Check it out. Watch it. It's it's good. I promise. <laughs> it's really, really uh, good. But from the dry heat of the desert to the wetlands of the deep blue sea in our next segment, we got some interesting ones tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, And this one threw me for a loop. I was not ready for this one at all. But, uh, let me find it here. The nearly 90% of the planet's life forms, 90% of the planet's life forms are undiscovered. Think about that. Undiscovered. And they're underwater. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? Like, think about that. 90% of the of all life forms on the planet so out of all of the out of all of the life forms that we're aware of right there's only 10 that's only 10 percent of what has been discovered and the other 90 percent is under water in the ocean you can't tell me there's not there's not a kraken down there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? There's not. There probably is. There's probably. Let's be serious. There's probably megalodons and krakens and Nessies Godzillas and, and Godzillas and mermaids and all sirens and all kinds of crap. But they just figured out how to adapt and mm -hmm. hide from us. <laughs> They're just camouflaged. It's crazy. I don't know. I think there's, uh, there's just, it's scary to think about, yet people mm -hmm. still keep going in the ocean. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> people still just, oh, We're let's just get pretending. in here where 90% of the species haven't been discovered yet. 
I mean, we're just going back to what we're used to because when we're in the womb, we're just surrounded by water. So it's just natural for us to want to go back to the ocean. I disagree with that entire statement. <laughs> well, too bad. They said it. It's a fact. Now it's in the universe. I am the almighty cloud and I have spoken. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> All right. Uh... That's pretty crazy. I don't know. I think there's a species that I feel like we're we're discovering species what daily, right? Do we discover things pretty like much. daily? Pretty much. Here's we're my really here's my question though. If if it's if ninety percent of it is undiscovered, they haven't found it yet. They don't. They have never discovered it. How do they know? <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask that question. In my head, I was just like, how do they know if they have or haven't discovered anything? <laughs> it's a valid question. Are there any oceanologists <laughs> out there that can tell me? You know what it is? I think it's because like they send that giant thing, that underwater fucking probe that, like, records things and they see things moving around and they can't figure out what it is and it's just like shadows or they see lights or they see they see all these different things that they're just like what the fuck is that i don't know well we haven't discovered it yet I, I, we can't get it there's no way for us to capture it so that we can discover but it's it been and, discovered it's just but species it's, 192 you know like yeah but just because we haven't named it doesn't mean it hasn't been discovered well, they, that's the way they classify it. It's they must just, be going by the discovered. math. They must be going by the math. I imagine of of how much we of the the land and water that we have uh, searched and we have been to, and Probably. and then they took the percentage of people that are in that and then just multiplied it by the other the rest of the world that hasn't that we haven't been able to reach yet. Right? Maybe. I imagine that's how they did it. There had to be math involved here somewhere. <laughs> that damn math. That damn math out there. <laughs> I never, I think it's useless. It is. We don't it's need math useless. unless you're paying me money. <laughs> then you still don't need math. No, because it's, it's zero, really, is what I'm getting. <laughs> Just add that to any number and then give it to me. Yeah. Did you hear about this next one, though? I did not. Point Nemo. It's the most remote spot that's furthest away from any land in the world. Uh, in the ocean. It's, 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 you can't get any farther away from land on Earth than going to Point Nemo in the Pacific Ocean. It is... Uh, 1,670 miles from land. So, what you're saying is... I would like to build a house there. For me to live. God damn it. No. It's my house. I'm going. No, I'm going to I'm going to build a volcano, <laughs> let it erupt out there underwater, and... <laughs> build an island. Build an island. <laughs> and stretch. Yeah. And that's where I will live. I'm going to need Elon Musk to get the Starlink Wi-Fi up, though, pretty quickly, because I'm going to need internet. <laughs> That'd be wild. It's uh, it's named after uh, a character in Jules Verne's famous book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Point I... Nemo. I imagined it was named after Finding Nemo, but... <laughs> No, the book came out way before Finding Nemo was do you a thing. Think, do you think the people who found this was like, was like, you know what? I'm going on a journey. I'm going to find the part of the, the, the ocean that's farthest away from land. I'm finding Nemo. I want Jesus. Fucking God. I'm done. I feel like that um, happened. Done. And that's how the movie was made. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finding I Nemo, can't. and then somebody was like, we should, make a, we should make a movie about this, which is also another great movie I haven't seen in many, many years. 
I love the animated movies. I think they're great. But I do love Finding Nemo. Did you see the second one? Yes, Finding Dory. I I don't know which one I like better, to be honest. I like yeah, them both. Like have... they are both really good. Mm -hmm. Poor Dory. Anyway, moving on. Yes. <laughs> Arctic fish. Um. They have Anna. I didn't. Yeah, I. I don't um, know if you saw this one or not. I so, I kind of did, but I'm confused. Okay, so so the fish that live at the uh in the arctics right it's freezing cold there right uh -huh, these uh -huh. fish actually have proteins in their bodies that are are their antifreeze proteins that are in their bodies that keeps any ice crystals from like forming on them uh which uh -huh. would kill them they would basically essentially be frostbit fish <laughs> otherwise without these so now scientists uh -huh. are trying to figure out how these proteins can be applied to more human problems like keeping your cherry from getting freezer burnt um sherry cherry what garcia cherry 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 it, Sher you just said chair nobody puts cherries in the freezer it's cherry garcia it's an ice cream <laughs> anything in the freezer your your sausage patties Whatever you put in there, it doesn't matter. Um, they're they're trying to figure out how to like basically extract these proteins. I think. And Do you think they're trying to extract it to give it to humans and not put it like in our food? I mean, it's eventually going to be in our systems, but like I feel like they're trying to just create a way for humans to go underwater in the Arctic and swim deep down where it's super fucking cold. Well, they would have to figure out a way for these to stay active in our bodies, though. Like, keep forming. That's true. Right? Like, keep, keep emitting these, these antifreeze proteins. They would have to have, like, these fish had to have evolved, obviously, in getting these proteins into them i mean well yeah they've slowly migrated into the arctic and the closer they got to the cold their bodies learned they needed protection so i think we just need to do that so we just need to throw some people in the arctic and just yeah have them just dip their like feet in there yeah just their and toes just study at their first. feet yeah for a while just the toes and then they inject move their them feet. with the antifreeze <laughs> proteins <laughs> From fish. See, that's, not, that's all they eat are those fish, but they have to eat them raw, like yeah. sushi. <laughs> <laughs> so it's terrible. Imagine that could be your superpower, but you have to eat it as sushi. Like, would you do it? No, I don't eat sushi. I would totally eat the fuck out of that. I don't give a fuck. I mean, just I once? Would I have to do it once? Okay. Yeah, but, well, once. yeah, once I would eat anything for a superpower. <laughs> like, Come on. What about once a year? Yeah, it would depend on the superpower. <laughs> it would be this. You would never you would never get cold. Your oh, body would it'd never get cold. You would yeah, have I, could, I guess it depends on how much I had to eat too. There's a lot of variables it just, here. <laughs> it would be it would have to match your body weight somehow. Yeah. Like you know, we drink a specific amount of water per like our body weight. Like it's supposed I to think I would just have to get super baked. And just eat it. And then just eat it. And just throw it in go. with my snacks. And just, just go ahead. Gulp. Just be like, I'm never gonna be cold. But to again. never be cold again. You know how amazing that would be. <laughs> I hate being cold, like more than anything. I know. I need one that does the opposite. So we need to find animals that have the opposite protein that mm. live in like the Sahara. Because I don't like to be hot, and I'm always hot, and I need, yeah. I need to regulate my temperature more. I need to find a lizard person. <clears throat> yeah, I, don't, I don't think those exist. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm definitely not related to any of them. Uh, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> rip currents, and I, I'm, I'm inclined to disagree with this statement, but. 
rip currents are the biggest danger at the beach. They are. Um, I feel it's not sharp. No, no, it current. is though. I feel it's not <laughs> like a rip current isn't going to eat me and shred me to pieces. It's just going to put me out into the water a little ways. No, no, no. But a rip current will actually drown you. It will pull you if into you the water. If you fight it. That's what and I'm most getting to. Fight That's it. what I'm getting to. But I'm not most people, so my biggest <laughs> threat is a shark. And you would be in that rip current panicking because all you would be thinking no, about No, the rip current oh would just God, take me out to sea and feed me here. to the shark. Exactly, which would make you panic, which would cause you to want to get out of that rip mm. current, which no, would get you tired. It would make me not panic because when I'm in the ocean, anytime I've ever been in the ocean, I am so still because I'm terrified <laughs> that any movement a shark's going to see and be like, oh, chicken leg, and eat me. <laughs> food. Food, 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 food. It's a windy <laughs> strawberry frosty. And of course, it's the jalopy version of a shark, so it wants the strawberry frosty. Uh, but yeah, it says, what can you do to stay safe from them? Firstly, never swim at a beach without a lifeguard present. And secondly, if you do get caught in a current, do not fight against it. Let it carry you until you can safely swim back to shore. I actually knew yep. that. Mm -hmm. I was a lifeguard for many years. And uh, I I am aware of this uh, little tidbit. So I think I would be fine. I, I, I would be fine out there if it happened. Yeah, what they told us is, because um, I live on an island, obviously. <laughs> There's just water everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I've actually been in rip currents before. They are quite terrifying. When they, when it pulls you, it pulls you. It's fucking strong as shit. But what they told us, and I've actually done this, is like, yeah, you don't fight against it. You let it carry it out. But another thing you can do so you don't get carried out too far is you start um, swimming along with it, but like at an angle so that you start kind mm -hmm. of going towards shore. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can kind of get out of the current a little, a little faster. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little quicker and just like pop yourself out. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, it's it's scary to get pulled I by have, one of these things. I have watched family members of mine get sucked out by the rip current and had to be pulled in by by the lifeguard. Lifeguards. I've seen it happen. It is terrifying. It, there's nothing you can do. You feel so helpless just mm -hmm. like watching them. Yeah. It's it's one of my fears with my kid too. Like the problem with it is is a lot of people will end up like swallowing a bunch of water and stuff mm -hmm. trying to fight it, and you know yeah. water will splash in their in their mouth and they'll swallow a bunch and they'll start to get like lightheaded and things like that. So mm -hmm. it it's uh it's yeah it's definitely dangerous out there, mm -hmm. which is <laughs> crazy. What's funny though is like I remember when I was a kid, I used to go out like on the like my floaties and like tubes with my dad like out into the ocean, and I feel like I remember this one time that there was a current like a rip current, but like he knew it was that I didn't know what was happening. I just felt like this strong like 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 burst like starting to pull us, mm -hmm. and he just calmly just put me on top of the little floaty and mm -hmm. held on to it and just like made it seem like it was a ride so it was mm -hmm. so much fun to mm -hmm. me and then i remember like us swimming back and my mom like panicking like what happened and he was just like oh we were just in the current just going for a ride out into the ocean Jesus. <laughs> and little me with my little floaties like i was like a foot tall not even just this little skinny like 50 pounds soaking wet like <laughs> little girl just like in the sink going yay but yet i'm like probably going to my demise and i had no idea <laughs> well fun times <laughs> fun times in the cloud family <laughs> yeah well we're not uh we're not into our next segment yet which is unsettling facts but this uh, this last deep blue sea fact is quite unsettling, if I do say so myself. Uh, by 2050, folks, 2050. That may sound like a lifetime away. It's not that far. No, it's, it's not, not that far, y'all. Uh, plastic in the ocean, which 
throw back to the beginning of the show. We were talking about it. Maybe that needs to be upped a little more. But plastic in the ocean will outweigh all of the fish in the ocean. It's less than 30 years away from now. Mm -hmm. That is less than 30 years away. That's how much plastic. Now I'm going to say it again, people. Stop. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Like, this. <laughs> I don't even know how. Like, I in my in my thirty uh, some years of living, I <laughs> I have never in my life thrown a single item of anything into the ocean. <laughs> I don't know how I'm, how this I've happens. Never thrown, I've never thrown a single item of anything anywhere except for a fucking a trash, trash can, can or where it belongs. I probably like, did as a kid. I'm sure, but but like. I don't know how this much. It's a lot. It says People that just that care. humanity dumps eight million metric tons of plastic into the ocean every single year. And I've seen it. I've seen, I've been at the beach and I've seen people like take a bottle of water, rinse it out in the, I don't know why they're rinsing it the fuck out, rinse it out in the ocean and then just chuck it right into the fucking ocean and just watch it go. And I'm like, what are you doing? I blame like, Christine why? Aguilera. <laughs> why? Because she's a why? genie in a bottle and. Why? And everybody's why? just trying to. Why? <laughs> Stop. Just stop. No. Trying to just find stop. genies no. in the ocean. Just, I'm just I'm gonna need you to <laughs> I quit. Does anybody wanna take my place <laughs> on this podcast? Because I'm uh, I'm done. I'm I'm gonna go. Maybe find we can get place. listen, maybe we can get Christina Aguilera to come on the show and, and <laughs> set the record straight. I don't know. Christina, if you're out there listening, we'd love to have you let us know. Uh is it your fault? Is it your fault? <laughs> It's not over the seat. No, don't do that to her. <laughs> She's gonna be like, "What the fuck? I'm like, why Who am I being thrown like under the bus this? for this?" <laughs> She's gonna be like, "Who the fuck even are you, people? <laughs> fuck you! Don't you dare slander my name. We're gonna get a whole fucking lawsuit, Christina Aguilera." I want to listen. I want to clear her name. I love <laughs> Christina Aguilera. I want to clear her name. That's all I'm trying to do here. <laughs> we're just gonna slander it first, yeah. and, then and then we're clear. gonna. <laughs> I'm getting Just ahead of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is that is that is terrifying. Uh, yeah. Uh, but more terrifying things. Um, and <laughs> Sky, I know, I know you're having surgery soon. <laughs> so uh, sorry. <laughs> for this. But um, we're moving into unsettling facts, and a couple of them might have to do with, with doctors. Surgeries. And surgeries. Uh, but this one is, is just astounding to me. Around 7,000 people are killed per year due to a doctor's bad or do not a not a single doctor just due to doctors bad handwriting you thought i was I gonna say that. like you thought i was gonna say like doctors messing up during surgery or no doctors handwriting writing Wrong prescriptions, prescriptions. Oh, yep. and people can't read them and they fill the wrong prescriptions now i'm not blaming the doctors i'm blaming the people who didn't verify what it was <laughs> you know because I understand that some doctors' handwriting, most doctors' handwritings, which, by the way, is that just part? Do people do they, do they do that on purpose? There's a class. There's a not. There's a doc, There's a class. Do they do it so they can like they're not held liable for things or something? I don't know. Probably. Right. Probably. Like, let me just kind of scribble it and then. And then I'll let the the physician figure it out from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know the answer. I don't know what they need. Just scribble something, and they're gonna think, "Oh, yeah, you have this. It's probably you probably need this." Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Blame it on them. And then when it doesn't work, that's not what I wrote at all. 
That's mm-hmm. clearly an A, not a Q. Yeah. <laughs> or the Batman symbol. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would do as a doctor. I'd just draw little cartoons on the drawing pad. Make my own little comics. He's going to draw his neighbors having sex. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but isn't that crazy? 7,000 people per year. That's a lot. That's insane. That is that... nuts. You don't really hear about that either. Like, there's where where are the news articles about that? Because that well, happened recently. There was a nurse who gave um who gave a patient. She injected him with the wrong medicine, and he ended up dying. But yeah, that's crazy. It was, it was like a whole thing about it, but like it's just you see that all over the news, but you don't see this about doctors. Like, do the math on that. During our lifetime, Sky, that's two hundred and thirty-eight thousand people that have died due to bad handwriting. That's insane. Watch me go and not get a hysterectomy, and they just implant like another <laughs> uterus in me. <laughs> have two uteruses at the point. <laughs> Speaking of implants, oh, there's a plant in this next uh, topic, which is terrifying. Did you read this one? Yes, this was crazy. This was nuts. Oh, I think we uh, might be losing you. Oh, no, no. Do you have me? Yeah, I got you. Okay. No, you roboted this was... there for a second. Um, yeah, no, this, this was nuts to me that uh fir trees can grow in human lungs there was a patient uh, that inhaled the seed of a fir tree which then sprouted and grew inside of his lungs doctors thought they were dealing with a tumor and when they went in there they were like what the fuck there's a tree inside of you imagine like it's almost like what is that alien that alien thing uh movie where like the thing comes out of his stomach? Like alien? that's what that is. Is is it alien? I thought it was a different movie. I don't know. I've only seen it in space balls, really. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure you're talking about alien. <laughs> probably, but they have a, a bit with it in space balls. Anyway. But like imagine that, but it's a fucking tree. Okay, so uh uh for those who didn't hear, your mic was cutting out a little bit. Um, a fir tree is what she's talking about. Uh, somebody actually swallowed a fir tree seed, and it started to sprout and grow in his lungs. They thought he had a tumor. It's not a tumor. Oh, wow. Now your mic sounds really good. <laughs> I don't Well, shit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it it wasn't. That's crazy. Think about that. Like a tree growing in your lungs. I just I don't want to think. How about do they that. even? How do they even operate on that? What do they do? They just go in and take the tree out. Yeah, I, I imagine mean, that, like the vines and all the stuff is like intertwined with wrapped, everything. Yeah, wrapped into those little bubbles that you have inside of your lungs, and they just have to like. I feel like you just them. you just have to do a lung transplant at that point, right? Like I can't imagine that they could get that out. Probably, but you know what they haven't invented, which I wish they did, is I wish they had a way to clean out your lungs. Like, yeah, there's something that you can inhale or drink or eat, and it's just like. I mean, I know they're doing. I I have out. a good buddy from high school that uh, has cystic fibrosis, and. I know they're making advances in, in uh, you know, lung treatment, and uh, but there's there's still a long way to go. Yeah, I, I I feel like it's as far as medical treatments go. I feel like lungs are are way behind. Yeah. Which is, you know, yeah. vital for living. So <laughs> it's a vital organ. Yet yeah, here we are. Today, in 2022, mm-hmm. our lungs are still covered in smog from New York City. <laughs> That's my excuse. Yeah. Uh, all right, Sky. Yes. Before 1987. Yes. 
the year we were born. Yes. Babies were operated on without anesthesia. God. I just. This is, I have no. This is real. No this is words. a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. I have no words. I just. I just can't imagine. They thought that babies couldn't feel pain. They just thought, oh, it's just baby, don't feel nothing. Like, when did they finally realize? Like, was the. You're operating. <laughs> was when they realized. You know, like, the year we were born. <laughs> you know what I think it was? I was born, and they were like, listen, we have to take special care of this one. We gotta make sure he feels no pain. He's perfect, and we have to. Is that it? We, and then they were like, "Oh, babies do feel pain. Let's let's give this one some anesthesia." You know, I actually I I was operated on when I was born. I had a heart murmur, mm -hmm. and they cut into my heart. Like they they there's a little tiny scar between my breasts. There's a little where they cut into, and they actually my heart but like yeah i mean now i'm curious to like did they use anesthesia on me when i was a baby or did they just do it while i was by the fuck awake because it happened right after i was born like mm -hmm. literally out of the womb <laughs> so i don't know this is nuts to me this is this is insanity like the babies weren't screaming like was that not a fucking well, sure they were but they were just like oh they're babies they scream I don't know. They're they're fine. The babies do this all the time. It's because you're hurting them. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep. Yes. What the fuck, man? I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, another unsettling fact: one in fifty people in the U.S. have a brain aneurysm that just hasn't it hasn't ruptured yet. <laughs> just hasn't. Yeah. One in 50. That's a lot of freaking people. Yeah. 50 people is not a lot of people. Think of one sporting event that gets thousands of people in there. Yeah. Just walking around in the U.S. with... Now, here's my question. Why is it the U.S.? Because we're stressed the fuck out and people bother us. You don't us. think like, they're stressed out in the other parts of the world? Oh, they are. They're 100% stressed out. But I feel like we're just more stressed out than everywhere else because we think that we're perfect and we're not. And it stresses us out even more. I feel like there's more um, societal, like, bullshit in the U.S. than there is everywhere else. Yeah, and maybe. This is just speaking on behalf of the places that I've ventured to and noticing the vast difference. Like, I can't speak for every place of the world, but, like, no, there's definitely, I feel like as a whole in society, the U.S. has a lot more issues of, mm -hmm. like, is this person going to like me? Is this person not going to like me? Do Am I embarrassing myself what am i gonna do in, in 20 years am i gonna grow up am i gonna have a family I there's just right. so much pressure in the u.s i feel like it could be wrong it says that's about 6.5 million people in the u.s that have a brain aneurysm that just hasn't ruptured i used to say that to a friend of mine in high school i said you're gonna be the reason i have a brain aneurysm and it, I'm going it to concerns die. me that i i get cr chronic migraines now and nobody knows why it's like, what, do I have an aneurysm? You probably do. You probably have multiples. And uh, is there a fix to that? Can I don't know. It? Can they just go in there and just cut the piece I out of your brain? Couldn't tell you. Can Can we try this? Would you have brain? Well, surgery? I think if they're going to try it, they'll probably try it on babies since they don't feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over that. That's un who thought that babies up until 1987, <laughs> our grandparents thought babies didn't feel pain. <laughs> what? When? Okay. I have a follow-up question to that. Can we just go back really quick? When was it the point where they're just like, okay, now they can feel pain? At what age was it that 
a, a, a person. They just thought that was... their, yeah, I don't know. They just thought that their pain senses developed as they got older. But like, what age was that? I, just, I, need to I know. wasn't there, Sky. <laughs> I feel like we were. <laughs> no. I just don't they... remember. They gave us anesthesia. We were lucky. We were the try. We were the, we were the the uh, <laughs> guinea pigs. They're like try putting anesthesia in these two. Yeah, because they were afraid that anesthesia would cause cause mental problems. <laughs> they were right, and they were right. Who knew? <laughs> I don't even like this next one, Sky. I'm gonna let you read it. <laughs> I know why you don't like it. This one makes me sad. It does. It does make me sad, too. But dogs, they like sweet toys because sweet toys mimic the screams of their prey. And contrary to what Skylar sounds like right now, she's not a sweet toy. That is her microphone. (laughs) Um, Jesus Christ. It's been up and down all day. It's just been down. I don't think it's been up yet. (laughs) Well, shit. (laughs) Um... (laughs) But we've been able to make out most of what you've said, so that's good. Uh, yeah, that's that's awful. These perfect angels that live in our homes like squeak toys because it mimics the screams of their prey. Listen, they are carnal animals. They they have their instincts. These these things are part of it. That's just, it's just what it is. My dog, Mimi, she, if she sees a cat, she will try to catch it and she will try to tear it up. Like, it's just her instincts. Do I allow her to do that? No. I actually started, when I first, like, found this out, this is when I, like, used to study about, like, animals and dogs and stuff like this and animal behavior. But when I first found this out, I refused to buy a squeak toy ever again. Mm -hmm. I refused to do it. I just didn't want to do it. But the truth of the matter is, is that dogs need us to fulfill that that instinct. Otherwise, they will hunt. They will have that that mm-hmm. drive because they're not being fulfilled. Right. So I had to give in, and it, it is a thing. <laughs> well, you know, I live with two dogs, Mila and Jackson, and they, mm-hmm. um, Jackson today all day has been playing with his squeak toy just squeaking the literal life out of it and then like i've noticed though that he when he when he it would start squeaking stuff every now and then he would start just yanking his head back and forth like he was trying to kill it kill it yeah and i was like oh my god he's really enjoying this a little too much <laughs> what if in the Scary. middle of the night he's asleep and he thinks my arm is a squeak toy and he just goes nuts on it it's a scary thought isn't it that mm-hmm. you just turn over you're like oh look how cute and in his head he's like die, right. die you little rat die mm-hmm. you're just like oh god <laughs> no fluffy why although he did chase a mouse the other day that was outside Aww. and uh and he didn't the, the mouse actually got stuck its leg got stuck on like a little part of the tree right at the base of the tree mm-hmm. and he didn't eat it he left it so that was good i went out and got his leg unstuck and it looked at me and said thanks and then hopped away <laughs> it did it squeaked at him it went and then hopped it away. either said thanks or bitch and then <laughs> gotcha bitch gotcha bitch <laughs> Moving on, guys. We're heading to Alabama in our next segment. Weird laws. And of course, Alabama is going to be the first one we come to. I thought this one was interesting. Uh, I'm glad that this is a thing in Alabama. Because I hate this shit just as much as I hate fucking glitter. So, Yeah, this is... I can see why this one is illegal, kinda. Just because of cleanup being yeah. an issue yeah and also i feel like birds and stuff might try to eat it thinking that it's like oh true um that's just messed up in mobile alabama it is illegal to possess make 
sell, give away, or throw plastic-based confetti. No confetti. You have a birthday party? No confetti. You have a cake? No confetti. That's a joke. Confetti cake is really good. You should eat it. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy that uh, we we are uh, we're not. What do they do? I don't know. I don't know. I just they do. Um, okay, so apparently, wait, it is legal to sell and possess, make, sell, give away, and throw any non biodegradable plastic-based confetti. So it's just the stuff that doesn't... Which is all confetti, let's be honest. <laughs> There's paper, paper confetti, like made out yeah. of like that small little tissue paper, which is totally fine. You could legally enjoy that. But like, I kind of feel like, again, like I feel like it would still like birds would be like, oh, look, yummy food, chirp, 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 and then die. And that's just the yeah, end of that. I could see that. I could see that. Uh, I just, what do you celebrate with then? Isn't it, um, isn't it confetti in those little popper things? You know those little things you pull the string and oh, it pops yeah. and confetti pops out? I love those things. Those they are have streamers awesome. in them too. But yeah, I think there's confetti in it. Well, again, but it just depends. If it's if it's biodegradable, then you can still use it. But if it's not, I don't like plastic confetti. Plastic confetti is right, it's, it's just bigger glitter. That's all that is. It's yeah. just bigger fucking glitter. Like, no, stop it. Stop it. I, I guess know. I don't know. It is kind of a weird law because I don't know that it's, it's not all of Alabama. It's just mobile, mo- mobile, mo- mobile, mobile. I, mobile. I don't know. I don't know any Alabamians out there, Alabamans, Alabamanites. I don't know what to call y'all, but <laughs> let us know. Um, this next one was actually done as a joke. Believe it or not, uh, in uh, in Idaho, guys, they did this as a joke to kind of uh, boost morale, I should say. After, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get to the exact post on it, uh, but it was to boost morale. After, hang on, I found it right here. After uh, the mayor passed an ordinance making it illegal. Hang on. To boost morale. I've, I'll say boost morale one more time. Okay. <laughs> After the exceptionally severe winter that they had in 1948. So they put this in as a joke to try to just kind of boost morale. And uh, it was illegal. They made it illegal not to. To smile when you're out and about in Idaho, Pocatello, Idaho. I I would get arrested immediately. I have resting bitch face. I constantly look like a miserable. There's no way in hell that I could walk into that and just like I people who smile all the time like too much mm-hmm. for me creeps me the fuck out. It's like something is wrong with you. Why are you smiling so much? Like. It's okay to be happy. I got no problem with that. But if you're just constantly fucking ear to ear grinning, it's mm-hmm. weird to me. Imagine like, doing that during just... sex. Oh, God, stop. No. Oh, why would you do images? Ah. I'd be like, get the fuck off of me. Go. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out. Just smiling get out right real big <laughs> like a serial killer. <laughs> oh, God, no. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't uh, like it. Oh. But I guess uh, it unintentionally remained in the books until it was rediscovered, and they left it as a source of pride. So it's 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 technically it is law, but obviously it's not enforced, uh, which is funny yeah. to me. <laughs> law, but you know, why yeah. even keep it? Why why just why keep it? I Please. I don't know. That's just to, just me. because it was a source of pride. People are prideful. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. People are prideful. What else, Sky? What's another weird one? <laughs> this one is weird to me because I just I 
it's just I didn't realize there were oceans <laughs> in Iowa, but in Iowa, it is legal to drunk surf. You're not allowed to go drunk surfing or water ski while you're drunk. I, I can understand water skiing. Like, there's lakes and stuff, but like, I feel like surfing is kind of an ocean thing. Not. Yeah, that's why this is falling under the weird laws. <laughs> sky. I just, listen, I've got questions. Yeah. I just. Why? Who is who was surfing? Were they Somebody was to? surfing somewhere in Iowa <laughs> drunk and some problems arose, folks. This is all we know. The number one problem is they were surfing in yeah. Iowa, a landlocked state. <laughs> I Police probably said, "What are you doing? I'm serving. I'm serving, uh, sir. Sir, this is no a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Have a strawberry frosting. <laughs> uh, it says, though Iowa isn't really a surfing destination, it does have many famous, beautiful lakes." I, just, I guess maybe people were making waves with boats or something, and people were probably surfing that way. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just. But either way, you can't do it if you're drunk. <laughs> you can do it if you're sober. Be sober, I surf mean, in Iowa all you want. <laughs> in the places that don't have ocean. It's, I'm going to go. Y'all. Just go ice fishing in Hawaii while you're at it, guys. I just. This. <laughs> Live it up, folks. If any of you guys are from Iowa, can you please explain to me how surfing works without the ocean? I need to know. I, I legitimately, I need, I want to know. I'm going to tell you right now, video. nobody in Iowa has an answer for you. <laughs> I, I want them to tell me. I feel like there's a secret that needs to be unlocked. Nobody has an, an answer for you. Uh, Okay. No, <laughs> no dying your ducklings. You heard me. No dying your ducklings in Kentucky. Uh, did you see these ducklings? I want they're all of them now. Cute. Dude, they're so cute. Oh my god, they look like little Pokemon. They're now, so now this this law doesn't necessarily seem weird, right? Because it's like, oh, yeah, I, it's probably inhumane to, you know, put hair dye on your little chicklets or whatever. Excuse have, me, I have the hic- they hiccups. They have animal teeth dying. Right, now. that's true. That's true. However, where it gets weird is you can only not do it if you're selling less than six at a time. <laughs> If you have more than six, it's legal. It's perfectly fine. You're fine. It's fine. As long as there's a bunch. You think it's because they don't want them to feel left out, like feel odd. It's the ugly duckling. They're just like, oh, it's just the, man, the odd man out. No. You, they have oh, no, I lied. I read that backwards. I'm sorry. You, If you have six or more, it's illegal. But anything under six, you can you can die and, um... and sell. But either okay. way, why? Why is that a thing? Where does the and is it not cruel to the first five? But it's <laughs> cruel if you have six. You're like, all right, now you're pushing it. Now that's just that's one too many. <laughs> In the bluegrass state, it is illegal to dye your birds or rabbits as well. Blue, green, or any color, unless you're selling them in quantities of six or more. If you're caught, you could end up paying a fine of five hundred dollars. Uh yeah. I don't know. I, I I'm looking at a picture of dyed ducklings right now, and I want them all. They're the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. You're so stinking. You know what's funny? It's like I don't even like pink, but that pink one. Is I know. Just- and then look at the red one at I the know, top. He's I got see a white. It. He's like, yeah, just a one of them all. 
<laughs> I can't. I can't. They're so cute. They are adorable, I must say. Uh, I don't know. That's that's our that's our uh, that's our uh, weird loss this week, guys. Just I don't know. I guess all of Kentucky is that a thing that happens in Kentucky? Probably. It's just weird. <laughs> Kentucky is a very weird state. You know somebody that's selling these though. Like this person in this picture clearly has more than five. Uh, they're probably just <laughs> like hiding them inside a. a truck or something and then they're only right. putting five out at a time it could be a picture at of the flea world. market i mean what if like okay so <laughs> there was this place i want to say in chinatown around here they used to do that with the chicks but they would dye them on the spot so they would have all these little tiny chicks and then you pick up the color you want and then they would do designs and stuff on them and like you could have a polka dotted little chick and then you would take them and then off you go they did it around Easter time. So instead of like dying eggs, they would die chicks. Mm -hmm. And it was really, 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 really fucking cute. And I've always wanted one. But apparently you can't own a chicken in your backyard unless you're going to eat it. And I didn't want to do that because that would. You don't eat your pets? I don't want to eat my babies. No. <laughs> well. just, no. They could eat me. I don't want to eat them. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. All right, moving on, guys, to a segment we haven't done in a while. Dish of the week. Have you had any good dishes? Okay, so when you first put this in, I was going to do one thing, and then I went to Taco Bell today and had the other thing and I was like you know what this has to be my dish of the week because it's my dish of forever and the toasted cheddar cheese chalupa is back at Taco Bell oh. attention everybody the toasted cheddar cheese chalupa is back at Taco Bell if you have not tried it go to your fucking Taco Bell and go get it it's it so is, good it's so good it is so fucking good I don't good. know it why is... it's so good but it's just like the perfect that combination crunch, of texture of and taste oh, and oh that's... my gosh i am surprisingly okay so when it first came out i just got it with um their just regular ground beef their seasoned beef i was totally fine with it mm -hmm. but then i got it again this go around with their steak and i've been obsessed with getting it with the steak it is just juicy as fuck mm -hmm. and it's just Oh, God. And usually when I go to Taco Bell, I have to dip whatever they give me into like nacho cheese sauce because I'm obsessed with their nacho cheese sauce. This is the only thing that I don't dip. I, I refuse. I, I just I it doesn't need it. It doesn't need anything. It's perfect. And mm -hmm. I just I hate that it's a fucking once a year or maybe two times a year. Please talk about kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need it more. I need it to be a permanent option. I want it. I want it. I want it. Yeah. I want it. That's fair. I oh. have been uh, my. I'd say the the dish for this week for me that I've been kind of obsessed with because I do this. I go on like little kicks where I get obsessed with certain meals, mm -hmm. uh, for for a week or so. And I am, and it doesn't matter what time of day, I have this, uh, what is it? Uh, it's a flat iron skillet thing. What, what's mm -hmm. it called? Flat, is that it? Just a big flat a griddle. iron griddle thing? Yeah. Uh, which is new to me. I've never used one of those until now. But uh, I have one, and I have started making... Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. The show's over. Mm -hmm. Going to bed. Uh, <laughs> it's that time. Breakfast burritos, homemade breakfast burritos mm. uh, with eggs and cheese. And I put I, I put hash browns in the air fire, fryer. I, I can't right talk. Over there? <laughs> <laughs> hash browns in the air fryer. I think this whiskey's a little strong. Uh, <laughs> whiskey. Whiskey. Um, and then I have avocado trees on my property. And I've been picking those and eating like the freshest avocados in the world. I've been dicing those up and putting that that in there. Oh my god, I am addicted to those. I could eat them all day, every day. It does not matter what time of day. Throw it all in a wrap, a tortilla, and I'm I'm set. I'm set. 
I know it's it's such a basic meal, but oh my goodness, is it delicious. <laughs> perfect especially if you get the hash browns nice and crispy yes i love crispy hash browns mm. like whenever i go to ihop and get their hash browns they have like the like the shredded hash browns i always have to have them extra crispy i'm like just once you fry them fry them again mm -hmm. put them back on the skillet and then take them off the skillet and then put them back on the skillet again. i just put them in the <laughs> air fryer now and they're perfect every time oh they're god, spritzing yes. with a little bit of uh, olive oil oh my god mm. they're just perfection <laughs> to the touch all right guys we like to end every show with the same or end it the same way the same segment every episode and it's always a fun one i always like this segment but it's hypothetical question time folks and this one this one's interesting i feel like there's pros and cons to either of these to your answer Either answer you give for this but i'll ask you first this time since you asked me first last time but skylo would you take a pill that removes your body's need for sleep we have lost skylo I was muted somehow. I don't even know how I did that. But yes, I was literally just sitting here saying yes, 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 a thousand times yes. I sleep for like maybe two, four hours tops a night anyway, if I'm lucky. So I can get a lot of shit done in those two to four hours that like I don't need to sleep. And if I could just take a pill and I'm good to go, I'm I'm good. Um, right. Yes, I'm taking this. I don't care if I have to take it every day. I don't care if I have to shove it up my ass. I'm taking it. Like, I'm taking it. I don't want to sleep. Let me just write down a note here. Okay. Uh, I'm conflicted. Are I'm you? conflicted. I am. I would love it. Because I, I, I loathe. I don't just hate, I loathe the fact that we need to sleep. It, it, the, the, the amount of stuff that I could accomplish in life if I didn't need to sleep. Yes, exactly. However, I love sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, here's the thing. I can, I can take it or leave it. There are times where I'm just like, oh, sleep. I, for me, sleep isn't what i enjoy about going to sleep it's being comfortable in my bed and wrapping myself in like a blanket and a pillow and i can still do that and still be awake and just watch tv and chill you know what i mean as i sit here and yawn live on the show <laughs> i love sleep now i guess this pill though would take away that need to sleep so i i don't know if it would take away the feeling of wanting ability. to sleep the ability i have questions yeah. on this hypothetically i'm just gonna go ahead and say that it just takes away the necessity for you to sleep you but sleep. if you wanted to you could still just that's what i it just it wouldn't it just wouldn't do anything there would be no purpose for it it would mm -hmm. just be like eh, i just feel like closing my eyes and dreaming yeah. so let me just do that but if nothing else would come of it that your body wouldn't be refreshed that your metabolism wouldn't spike like all the things that happen while you're sleeping and your body resets wouldn't happen right um and i'm wondering is if you take this pill is that's what happens your body it like gives you that refreshment and then just you're yeah. up like i'm good to go i i would still take it i don't care even if like i could never sleep for the rest of my life and it's just like it took it away well I now you would have to though because like what if you have to have surgery they just gotta numb be it. able to knock you out right no they just gotta be able to make you not feel pain i guess People, they are wide awake when they fucking cut into your head <laughs> like there's so many procedures that if get you're done a baby. you're awake <laughs> no this is like adults like there's still procedures that are done while you're wide awake <clears throat> for example what if you're getting your mouth cut into when i got my wisdom teeth i wasn't asleep yeah they just numbed like the it. fuck out of me like they just numbed the fuck out of me did i feel everything God, they had to give me did. multiple shots because i just kept feeling it i was like i there she's me like too. no way you still feel this i was like yeah Same. i 
feel you're sawing into my mouth. <laughs> Same. I literally felt everything. I cried. They dislocated my jaw like Jeez. three times. Like it was bad. No, it was bad. Honestly, I feel like my my they uh, unaligned my mouth because uh, I had yeah. braces before that and my shit was perfect. And then yeah. I got that and. Over time, it just got worse. So I gotta go to a dentist again and probably get like Invisalign again to help. Yeah. <laughs> realign my teeth because they fucked it up. But yeah, no, I would, I, I would take the pill. I'm all for it. He's yeah, I nice. probably would too, as long as I still had the ability to lay down and sleep if I wanted to. Yeah. But I wouldn't need to, so that would be nice to be like, oh, I gotta get stuff done. Like today, I had so much stuff I needed to do. And I was like, oh, my God, I just need to sleep before I can do any of it. So it would be nice to not have that need to sleep, but still have the ability. If the ability is still there, then, yeah, I'm all for it. I'm like you. I'll stick it up my butt. I'll do whatever. <laughs> just give it to me. I don't care. I want it. <laughs> I want all of it. Yeah. But that's our show, folks. Room readers out there, let us know. Would you take a pill? that would take away your need to sleep. Let us know in the comments. We're on Twitch. We're on YouTube. We're on all major podcast stations. Big shout out to all of our sponsors that you've seen rolling on the screen here the entire episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We're working on getting uh, some more content out to you guys very soon. Hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be having more streams weekly that aren't the podcast. There are going to be more behind-the-scenes <laughs> Q&A type streams and, and whatnot with Skylo or myself or both of us. And, uh, yeah, so keep an eye out on social media. Follow us on there. Help us out with reviews on Apple Podcasts. Give us some five-star. It really mean a lot. helps us tremendously. Uh, if you're interested in sponsorship, please reach out to us at notsocommonsensenscs at gmail.com. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything. We really appreciate you being here. Sky, is there anything I'm missing before we head out? No, I think you you hit the nail right on the head with everything. I'm just, I can't wait for the next episode, guys. I have, you guys have no idea. Every every day, I look stuff up for this show. My phone is just, I have like over 200 tabs open on my phone with just information for this mm -hmm. this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm an insane person. She what is. can I say? I am. But it makes but for a better I show. Just, it does. It does make for a better show, and it's worth it because you guys are awesome. So thank you guys for being our room readers. We love you. We appreciate mm -hmm. you. We see you. We see yes, you. Yes, we see you guys out there. Keep reading rooms, guys. And until next week, one thing to always remember. Read the room. The room. <laughs>